Welcome. We are launching a brand new fresh series today that we have called Just Jesus. Just Jesus. I maintain that all that you and I really need in life, in essence, is Jesus. Just Jesus. This series is a call to return to a simplicity of faith and a relationship with Him where you can experience that He is really more than enough. I believe with all of my heart that in Him we have all and through Him we can be all we need to be. I believe our full potential, your full potential, can be realized from that place where you've realized firstly that Jesus is enough. He's in fact more than enough. And what you need in life, more than anything else, is just Jesus. It is a matter of great concern for me uh, to have noted something I call the Jesus plus disaster. And I found that in many people's lives, Jesus has moved to the background as they increasingly seek and look for more wild teachings and they focus on all kinds of revelations where Jesus is not the most vital part. It is as if they keep adding all kinds of things that you supposedly need to be able to live a victorious and meaningful Christian life. I believe this is highly dangerous and false. I would like to lift a standard again and put something in place in all of our lives where we just step back and say, you know what? What I really need is just Jesus and not all the other fancy things that are sold as vital and sold as add-ons. The Jesus plus disaster. I believe he is more than enough, just Jesus. So I advocate today that we get back to a Christ-centered life and a life where Jesus is given preeminence or first place above all. You will find this beautiful, powerful scripture in Colossians 1, verse 16 to 18. That reads like this, Colossians 1, 16 to 18. It says, for by him all things were created that are in heaven and are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things. And in him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may have the preeminence. Wow, striking words at the end. That he may in all things have the preeminence, the first place above all. Jesus already has the center spot in the first place in the universe. But my question today is, does he occupy that place in your heart and life? Have you truly given him and welcomed him to that place? You see, to experience Jesus as more than enough, he must first have preeminence in your life and mine. He does not want to supplement your life from the sideline. Or be treated like a product you buy off the shelf when you need it. Or like an emergency service on call. Hello, uh, heaven, yes, Jesus, please. Hello, Jesus, come and help. For many Christians, he's just the God on call. And although he many times act on that and saves us and helps us, but that is not what it should be like in the final analysis. He wants to be and may I state, deserves to be at the center of your life and mine, and part of all you do, leading and guiding you, that's where he should be. 
first place and at the center in all we do. Will you give him that undisputed first and central place in your life today? That's the intro of this series. Would you carefully give that consideration? Where is Jesus in your life? Does he have that beautiful word, the preeminence? If not, make a decision today and pray this prayer with me to say, first of all, Jesus, thank you that through you all things were created and that you hold everything together, including my life and whoever is watching this. As much as what we give you, preeminence, first place. So today, Lord, please hear our prayer that we ask forgiveness. For we've allowed in many places that we have allowed you to slip to the background. We've put you backstage. And today, we want to say we're sorry for that. And we don't want to have a Jesus plus life. Jesus plus this doctrine and that teaching and this revelation. But that we want to say, Lord Jesus, you are enough for us. And we want to give you center stage. And we do indeed today in this prayer. We say, Jesus, come and take the first place in my life. Come and take the center place. And be part, Lord, of everything I do from this day forward. Have the preeminence in my life. Thank you, Jesus. You are welcome in my life. Amen.